Elon Manning has to be flinching just a bit. The, his offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him. And you know Khalil Mack is licking his chest the same way we are looking at that food. We're going to go I'm get hungry. some of that food. Get a now, let's go in and check in and see what Kurt Warner's doing back in the studio. Kurt. There are a few guys in the NFL that I cheer more for than Phillip Rivers. As a father of eight, it's safe to say he will never be defined by what he does on a football field. But that doesn't mean he isn't driven as much as ever to hoist the Lombardi Trophy. You could argue that he's on his best team, he's having his best season, and he's coming off of his best game. So how's he feeling about their Super Bowl chances? I caught up with him this week to find out. Rivers throwing left to Mike Williams. Touchdown! Phillip Rivers stays perfect. 23 straight completions to start a game. That'll set the NFL record. You broke another record last week, but what's the greatest accomplishment that you have on the football field? I think it's being out there for 203 or four in a row with the guys fighting like crazy to give your team a chance is special. From a team standpoint, we've, we've fallen short of the ultimate goal, but we've won a bunch of football games. We've had a lot of championship moments, a lot of special runs and games that come to mind. The ultimate, that we haven't accomplished yet, but shoot, we're putting ourselves in a position going into this December that we, we're going to have a chance, yeah. and we'll see how it all plays out. It's becoming a young man's game. Yet I look around the league, and you got Brady and Breeze and yourself playing as well as you've ever played. What's the secret? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, I do think that one of the, not so much secrets, but I think the reason why we've been able to stick around, and not to say we as if I'm in those guys' category, but I, yeah, you are. But I think at the end of the day, it's going to be third and seven, and you got to stand in there and complete an out or complete an in or complete something in a congested pocket with guys all around you. I mean, I still think the game just comes down to that. Right. And if you can do that, uh, I think you can stick around and still play down low. Touchdown, Charger! So this week, you're playing against one of your draft classmates in Big Ben. Do you ever look back at the draft class and kind of compare notes to what you've all accomplished uh, over your runs? When you think about Big Ben and Eli, it's, it's a cool class to be a part of. I mean, obviously, those guys led their team to championships, multiple championships, but the fact that we've been on the same team for all, now all this time, it's pretty awesome. I hope they would say the same. I think it's a cool. I, I'm uh, excited to be in that group with those guys. Rivers to the end zone. Keenan Allen. Is their motivation to play against the Big Ben or an Eli going? I want to show everybody that I'm the best of this class. I mean, I think it's somewhere on the list. Right. It's somewhere down there. I think people that say that, they don't care. That's not true. But it adds a little something yeah. meaning to it when the guy over there is yeah. the player he is. Well, you've accomplished so much in this league. And the one thing that's eluded you is that Super Bowl. I think we're in another window where we have a chance. You know, there's certain windows, and this is not has nothing to do with whether our roster is capable or not. Yeah. There's just certain windows where you go, we got to do it. Yeah. And I think we're in that window again, and that part is exciting here at 36, 5 37. Yeah. When you're growing up, you envision holding up that trophy. So how often do you think about it? Shoot, now it's been 14 NFL seasons and many more before I made it. You definitely think about it, and I think that's part of dreaming. You watch that Super Bowl and watch how those quarterbacks operate, how they play, how they handle the post game. You're dreaming of one day, what are you going to say when you're up there? What is it going to feel like? How, what is your reaction? Shoot, you don't stop dreaming when you get older. You dream like you did when you were 10 years old in the backyard. Great stuff, man. You're on a roll after the Carson Wentz check. You're the, I'll tell you what, I, I, just, I just love that dude. Yeah. And you know, his perspective on everything, and I mentioned in there, eight kids. I think you have to have perspective when you have a lot right. of kids on everything. But I, I really loved what he said at the end because, you know, you think at some point you get to that 14 years in the NFL and 37 years old and you kind of stop dreaming. But it was fun to listen to him say, hey, I still think about what, what I'm going to say when I get on that podium because, you know, it was something that you, you dream about from your time you're this big. And he's still dreaming about it. Well, it, you know, obviously his want to is not in question at all. You can <laughs> just at see it. I mean, just the way he yeah. bounces around like he's yeah. eight years old, right? Mm -hmm. The question is, though, is does he have the team around him? And it certainly looks the defense is getting yeah. healthier. Gordon, thank goodness for the team. Does it look like it's a long-term, season-long right. injury? What, what do you think here? Well, I just got that same impression from him. Like, this is, this is one of those windows where I feel like I've got a team around me where I don't have to do everything. I don't have to carry 
this team every single time we step on the field. And he hasn't been in that scenario very often. So I know he's excited about it, but I think he always has also has perspective on what's out in front of him with the Chiefs and the way the Patriots are playing, but really likes this team. It's amazing. Gates is still there. We're going to see Gates on a Sunday night football tonight, yes. man. Still going. I know. Still, still going. going strong. So that's a big game tonight. We're very excited uh, for that one. We're going to be picking that one later on. I don't know. I might be going lone wolf on this one. Uh, Ian Rappaport will be joining us right now because uh, the actives, inactives are in. Who's up? Who's down? What do you have for us, Ian?